Hello. Hello. And welcome, welcome to, to the Lakeville Senior, Senior Connection, Connection with Lori, Lori and Cheryl. Happy summer. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Finally Happy summer. summer. The heat's on. The heat's on. The rain's on. <laughs> Hopefully the rain shuts off. Yeah, we need the rain to stop. Yeah, please. <laughs> please. So we're starting. We're starting this a little different this yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to read a little something, and we're going to show you a little, a little something. something fun. A little something fun and exciting. So, Bound, of, Bound with Love yes. Raffle Quilt 2021 is to benefit the Lakeville Senior Center. Yay. Yay. So, we should take this out. Let's take yeah. it out while we talk about Let's. it. All right, here we go. All right, you grab okay. this beautiful little I bag know, that it could have been. Beautiful bag. All right, how are we going to okay. do this? Let's All unfold. Right. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that way. I know. Come this way. Don't go too fast, Cheryl. I don't okay. want you all to show okay. it with me. Okay. And here we go. One, two, three. Ta-da. Look at this beautiful quilt. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to read this from standing right here. Yeah. I think we can do it, right? Okay. Yes, absolutely. This beautiful sampler block quilt was completed by the Lakeville Crazy Quilt Group. Yay. Yeah. The top was donated to the COA by a town resident. So it, it was donated, their um, mom, I believe, hadn't finished it, so they donated it to our crazy quilters, and they have fixed it. So yeah. it is primarily blue and yellow with accents of green and purple, so the green and purple are on the edges. Yeah. The backing is a complimentary shade of blue which shows off the quilting. Beautiful. All right, and that is the back of it. Yep. It was professionally machine quilted, and this is important. Yeah. This was professionally machine quilted by Michelle Medeiros of Homestead Quilting and Fabrics right here in Lakeville. Mm -hmm. She graciously did this free of charge as a donation to the fundraising effort. And I think and your little square right my here, corner. your corner says it. Bound with Love, Lakeville Crazy Quilters, Lakeville, Mass, June 2021, in your other corner, oh, oh we're Oops. upside down. We're upside you can down. read. You read. You got it. It says, wait, I need my glasses. <laughs> glasses, <laughs> please. <laughs> Professionally machine quilted by Michelle Medeiros, Homestead Quilting and Fabrics, Lakeville, Mass, April 2021. Yes. It's a pretty little flower. Very pretty. It's it is beautiful. gorgeous. Let's open it up while I finish Absolutely reading gorgeous. a little bit. It says, the finished quilt is approximately 81 by 81 inches. This is going to be a raffle. So the tickets right. will be on sale through the end of November. So this is going to be drawn as a Christmas um, type of gift. So this yeah. will be raffled and maybe someone would like it for a Christmas gift. Right. So the sale goes through the end of November and the winning tickets will be drawn the beginning of December. And I think we're going to try and announce the winners on our show. Yeah. I think that's how we're going to try and do it. Yeah. So it says, please be sure to stop by to view the quilt. The quilt is going to be here at the COA through the entire month of August. Mm -hmm. You can purchase tickets here as well. And then come September, the quilt is going to um, Homestead Quilting in yes. Lakeville, and it will be on display there. So the raffle quilt to, quilt to benefit the COA, chances are $2 for one ticket and $5 for three tickets. The winner is to be drawn in December of 2021. We want you to put your name and phone number on the ticket and they say thank you for the support. So right. again, this is made by the Lakeville Crazy Quilt Group, which Imagine. started here, what, two years ago? Yeah. And they got so big, honestly, that during COVID, yeah. yeah, they went over to Homestead Quilting and they're still there because there's right. plenty of room for them. Right. But and let's imagine winning this though for oh two dollars or five dollars. Yeah, like, and you could win crazy. this. I mean, oh, look it. Gorgeous. I see how the little hints of purple. I like that. I see it. Yeah. Very all nice. Yeah. Yep. All right. Gorgeous. So we're going to hang it, I think, just Should on we fold our... it the other way? Or how are we going? I kind think... of in half. We don't want to get it dirty. We don't. Yeah. So, <laughs> Let's do all it right. In we'll half. do it this way. All right. I see what you're doing. You flip yeah. a dip in it. Yeah, right. Well, flip a dipper like this. All right, we've got this. <laughs> we've got this. On we didn't really want to do this on camera, but, but that's we all right. are. Yeah. All right. We can. We can do it. And we're just gonna what? We'll fold it like this. Yeah, sure. And put it yeah, over it like that's this. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Is that good? Perfect. 
So they can kind of get the idea. Yeah, it can be displayed while yep. we talk for the right. rest of the show. All right. right. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you. We love and it. So again, when can, when can they start to purchase so these? So August Yeah, 1st? they can start anytime. So we have tickets here right now. Okay. When the quilt goes over to Homestead Quilting, we're still going to have tickets here available to sell. So just because the quilt itself goes over there, we can still sell the tickets. Yeah, and hopefully Yay. they make a lot of money. That would be nice. Would be wonderful. Yeah, um, put it towards some fun stuff I here. Know. And even if you can't use the quilt, it would be a beautiful Christmas gift Oh, uh, I would love to get that. Me too. <laughs> I would really like to get that. So keep that. us in mind. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just noticed it's all hydrangeas, it looks like, on yes, the outside. it's beautiful. Oh, that's super pretty. Yeah. I've really got to pay better attention. I know. All right, what do we got, all Cheryl? Right. What is up next? All right, so let's get to our newsletter. Yes. All of our fun stuff we have going on. Yep. So this month in August, the Old Colony Elder Services free box lunches. Um, we're going to only do two this month because we've started to gear up and get all some of our programs Absolutely. back. And it's a lot to be inside and outside. There's only two of us. We're we can't busy. Be, <laughs> we're busy. We can't be everywhere. But we're trying. So anyway, we're going to do that um, August 10th and August 24th from noon to 1230, the usual pickup times. Yes. Yep. Again, you, you know, you have to sign up. So yep. we sign have up enough. Ahead of time. And you have to be the week before we have to give a final count. So the week before those dates. Yes. Make sure you get in before that Tuesday the week before. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yep. perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Um, all right. So let me see here. Oh, cafe. So the Friday COA cafe is in full swing. It's yep. been the entire month of July. Very successful. Um, very successful. Unfortunately, due to the weather, we only had yeah. one outside cafe. I know. It's difficult. It's either raining or it's too hot too and muggy. Hot and muggy. Yeah. yeah. And who wants that? Right. Um, so it is every Friday from 9 to 11. Uh, we do not, we are not, I'm going to repeat, we are not requiring sign-ups any longer for the cafe. Right. So you can just come on down and show up to the cafe. Yep. It's between 9 and 11 a.m. Um, the only reason we'd have to have sign-ups if, if our numbers got out of control. Yes, if the numbers get out so, of control, we'll definitely do yeah. um, sign-ups. Yeah. I want to make sure to stress, um, please sign in at the kiosk. So you have a little key card, and right. if you don't, come see us in the office, and, and Charlotte or I will get you one. But that being said, I think this is probably a good time to mention the screened-in porch. Yeah. Because while they're at cafe... Yes. The doors are going to be open out back now because yeah. the porch is screened yeah, in. and it's beautiful. Yeah. You have to come Gorgeous. and take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And sit out there and have your coffee and a little treat. Yep. So, um, and then the donations that the friends did, they gave us donations. Um, I think they paid for half of the screened in porch. Yes, they so did. So that's, yeah. Which Extremely, is amazing. Yeah, amazing. And what a great gift. And then for all flowers of us. out back. You have to come look at the flowers. So, some of the girls from the Friends of the Lakeville Council on Aging were here over the weekend to maintain the ground. To maintain and beautify. And mm -hmm. my goodness, does it look spectacular. In this heat. They yes. worked really hard. Yeah. yeah. Thank to get you, it ladies. Looking gorgeous. We totally appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fabulous job. Yes. Oh, I shouldn't yes. say just ladies because Bruce was here too. Bruce Bruce was here putting in bricks. Yes, he, he was. He put in some more bricks. He did. And did some weeding. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, been amazing. Thank amazing. you to all. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Yes. And next thing we have is um, the, you know, we know, you guys all know about the Healthy Hearts, Tai Chi, and Yoga Stretch and Strengthening. So we brought those back. And we brought them back just once a week. For now, right? Yes. Yep. Um, I don't know if that will change at any point, but for now, we're asking um, that you must sign up for Healthy Hearts and Yoga. Yes. Right? So Healthy Hearts is Tuesdays at 10. Tai Chi is Wednesdays at 1. Tai Chi right. at this point does not require signups because the class size hasn't gotten to that point yet right. that we feel it needs it. Right. But so Tuesday, Healthy Hearts, 10 o'clock. Right. Wednesday, Tai Chi, 1 p.m. 
Thursdays, yoga stretch and strengthen at 10 o'clock. Right. So in July, in we're August, make a little sorry. Few changes yeah. yep, we, on the uh, signups only because we have to keep these numbers. We have to, to keep the numbers low. Um, we do. Yeah. And this is per Board of Health. And yep. honestly, our instructors, so the girls like a maximum of 25. They don't right. like anymore because they like to be able to see everyone they and make be sure. A little individualized. Yes. Yep. Right. And make sure, okay, I can see you, see you, see so right. They're doing the exercise right. right. So it's to your benefit. Right. They're only, you know, asking that to benefit you. And then Board of Health also is right. now setting a limit for us. And, you know, who knows? That limit could change. It could go right. down to 20 from 25. So, right. so for August, we're going to ask that you only sign up for two classes a month on healthy hearts and yoga right so pick your dates make carefully. sure you check your calendar pick them carefully and wisely because we will probably fill up yes on we're probably going to fill up even though it's every other on and both yes because we yoga's we been, been extremely yeah. popular too yeah so we've had waiting lists for both classes and right. if you have to cancel right we may not be able to fit you in exactly to another yeah. class yeah and unfortunately i am going to be out there with my list and making sure your name is on the list and I don't want you to think I'm being mean or trying to scold anyone. We have to keep the numbers. Yeah, we have absolutely. to. We don't want to shut down. We don't yeah, want to. We can't have people just showing up yeah. if you didn't sign up. We so, have to know that you've signed up because it's important. Right. The numbers, if they go up, we don't want to go backwards. Right. We have to be, you know. And we're willing to work with people. We're right. trying our hardest, but if you can pick one of those classes, you know, like every other week, then you'd have a workout at least once a week. Right. And honestly, I think people should try Tai Chi. I don't think people understand the benefit of it. Right. Give yeah. it a shot. You may say, oh my gosh, what, look right. what I've been missing right. all this time. Also, we know there's five Tuesdays in August. So what we're doing for the last Tuesday in August is we're going to have a, a certain time period when you can sign up for that one class. And that will begin on August 18th and run through August right. 23rd. I mean, once it's full, it's full, but we cannot, we can't have you sign up for that last class on August 1st. Yeah. It's because it's really not fair, fair to everybody yeah. else. So yep. we want to make it fair so that everybody gets a chance. Right. We just We're want trying. everybody. I know. I know. Please. And this was the only solution we could come up with right. for now. Right. So if it, it may change, we don't know. Right. You know? And uh, just another thing, so everyone knows, we are open to other towns. We're not exclusive to Lakeville residents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we welcome people yep. from other towns. Yep, I know. And every group. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, not just exercise, but all the groups that we have. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Every event. So, everything. yeah, try them. Enjoy. Yeah. We want to get you out. But, right. You know, it's not that we don't want to. We want to do it safely and play by the rules. Yes. We want to play by the rules. We want everybody to have a chance. Right. Because we know you guys all missed exercise. We know right. that was, like, the most important thing right. that we had to bring back first. Yep. And we did. And so, we did. So we listened. Yeah. You asked. We listened. Yes, that's right. But make sure you read your newsletter. So when you yes. get your newsletter, read it so you will understand what needs to be done. Right. I think a lot of times, and I do the same thing, you tend to go right to the calendar and you just look at the calendar. And because right. you haven't read through everything, there's just a we lot going on. We have all different rules and regulations I know. now. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have COVID. to do it this way. We don't ah. want to get in trouble. Right. We don't want to be shut down again. Or, right, right. Yeah. So... All right, so I think we've right. beat that up enough. Yes. We're sorry. Yes. Oh just God. felt like we had to stress we that did. a little okay. bit. Okay. All right, so here we go. Pathways through grief. Yes. Um, the COA um, started, they've had two classes already, offering Pathways Through Grief. Yeah. Um, it's an educational series and support group for adults. It's open to anyone who's lost a spouse, life partner, parent, sibling, family member, or close friend either recently or in the past that needs mm -hmm. to talk to someone. Right. Um, there's this, no time for, period for grief. No, there's not. Nope. We know that. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This program is sponsored by Beacon Hospice, and it is free of charge. It, it's very private, too. You know, it's just yes. a small group. You're in a nice, quiet little room. We shut the door. Nobody knows what's going on in there. Yeah, yep. yep. So sessions are held on Fridays from 1130 to 1 p.m., from July 16th through August 20th at the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. Registration is required for that. So there's a number to call, Terry Henshaw, Terry Henshaw from Beacon Hospice.
Her number is 508-747-7222. So you need to call her to sign up. Honestly, I think if you just walked in, she would welcome you absolutely. with open arms. Yes. Yep. yes. Absolutely. She's very, very nurturing, yeah. caring. She is sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Yes. So definitely, if you... And you don't have to come to all of them. Just because it runs for that period of time, you can come to one, you can come to all. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. All right. So next on the list, Arts and Crafts with Amy. So we had one in July, and they yeah. made cute decoupage, decoupage. birdhouses. Yes. I'm going to have to get a picture of that so yes. I can send it to Craig. I don't think I asked Amy for the pictures. Yes. Um, okay. So Arts and Crafts with Amy is normally, it was previously scheduled for the second Wednesday of the month. Um, which was August 11th, mm -hmm. but it is being changed to Wednesday, August 18th. So it's the third Wednesday, so it's just a week after that. Mm -hmm. At 10 o'clock, same time, the group this time will be making, and I'm going to hold this up, and yeah. I'm going to send this to Craig so he can put it up. So they will be making beautiful garden, step and st garden stepping stones with mm -hmm. Amy. Uh, the cost is $20. This includes all supplies and instructions. You must sign up ahead of time with us at the office at 508-947-7224. Right. That's just so we can give Amy a account. account. And they pay her directly Yes, they that pay day. her directly. It's either cash or check. No debit right. cards, no credit cards. Right. Um, yeah, so Perfect. it looks like fun. We I wanted to do, do this one. one. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do the birdhouse, too. I know, right. and I want to do the stepping stone. Yeah. Mm. Maybe someday we'll sit someday. in on a craft class. Maybe we'll have to have Amy come back and do crafts with the staff. Yeah, oh, after we could hours. Do here. That's what I'm saying. Like yes. crafts with the staff. We'll do one on the show. Crafts. That's oh, what I'm on saying. On the show. Oh, maybe we could. Yeah, something That'd be simple. fun. We could do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. All right. Oh, Look at, hey. We're coming up with Look ideas. As we're, <laughs> we're coming up with ideas that, as we sit here. That, that's how it happens. That's how it happens. <laughs> that's how we work. <laughs> Anyway. All right. Okay. <laughs> there so, you go. if you need some legal advice at all, um, Adam Bond, our attorney here, is here on the fourth Tuesday of each month. Yes. So he will be here August twenty fourth, from ten to eleven. Call us and make an appointment with us if you would like to meet with him. And they're quiet, private, personal. Yes. Um, consultations. He's so excellent. he does twenty minute consultations. And, you know, he's, yeah, he is excellent. He's great. And um, anything that you have any questions about legally, give us a call and make an appointment and yep. set up some time with him. Or if you can't come in, That's I know he'll too. do consultations over the phone as well. Yep. Or maybe even at his office. So if you give him a call and just tell him that you're a Lakeville senior and you would like to speak to him about something, he's happy to do that with you. I'm trying to pull up his phone number real quick. Oh, there it is. Nine four six. Perfect. One one six five. Perfect. Yes. So if you want to call his office, he's in Middleborough. Five zero eight nine four six one one six five. Yep. Perfect. Yay. All right. Here yes. we go. Yay! Yay! Oh, just one quick thing. Getting back to the yoga. Oh, that's right. We forgot to update. I mean, I don't know if. We'll hope that everybody saw this in the newsletter at this point, um, but there will be no yoga stretch and strengthen on Thursday, August 12th. Yes. No class. It is. So you know. And it's in bold print on the yes. newsletter. So yeah, on, the, All right. on the calendar. On the calendar. Yes. yes. Sorry, sorry. Perfect. Okay. Yay. Um, and uh, as always, we have our veterans agent here, Wilfred Corey. He has office hours every Friday from 8 to 4. Um, and he can be reached at 508-946-8824 or at wcorey at lakevillema.org to assist you with any related questions that you may have. Perfect. Yeah. Yay. So He's great. Yeah. Yeah. He is. And he still has his radio show, I think. Yes, he does. And we still haven't called in yet. We Gotta will. Call in. We will. <laughs> we will, Will. We should do it live. Oh, we can't. Oh. Unless we do a filming on Tuesday. We'd ha we'd, we'll see if we can work yeah. that in. There's so yeah. much stuff we're working in. I know. <laughs> um. Oh, and another uh, class we have going on that has started, it began last week, um, and that's Jen's paint class. It's a, a new painting class offered at the COA. It's, it will be a six-week class, which began July 22nd. 
yep. and runs through August 26th on Thursdays from 1 to 3. The cost for six weeks is $60 on the first day of class. Jen is a local artist who sells and shows her work in the area and she will help you explore different mediums and project requests are always welcome. And just give us a call to register. I'm sure she could fit you in if you wanted to start. I believe she did. Week. And I think she said it would yeah. be a charge of 50 versus the 60 right. because you right. didn't make so, the first class. Yeah. Nice. So if, you, if you're thinking about it and you forgot to, oh, I forgot to sign up. You can still, I think there's still some time to and squeeze I, you in. Yeah, and it looked like they were enjoying themselves. Yeah. Day one. Yeah, they yes. were all like. Yeah, they did some sketching, I think, yeah, the first sketching, week. talking about what they like, what right. they want to learn. Right. And so good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Jen. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. We're going to whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> all right, back to seriousness. Representative Oral, if you would like to speak with the representative, he will be here on Monday, August 9th from 9 30 till 10 30 so again he will be the second monday of each month second monday thank you of yes. each month um, yep. and then state senator michael rodericks mm -hmm. will resume hosting office hours at the coa on the fourth thursday of each month from 9 30 to 11 30. so if you have any questions on these two and their hours and their days just call us and they're know. just walk in Correct. Yes, they just walk yeah. in. No sign-ups. You right. just want to chit-chat, ask right. about things. They'll just be here to answer any questions. And they're very helpful. I know people have come in with, yes. with questions or problems with things in the past, and they've actually looked into it for them and yeah. gotten things resolved or at least, yep. you know, yeah. tried. So Perfect. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Yep. And then more exciting news. Exciting. Our out-of-town medical rides have begun. Yes, they've started Yay. again. We have a group of volunteers. Not all of our volunteers are back yet. So we're a little limited on how many drivers we have, but we will do our very best to get you a ride if you need to go out of town for a medical appointment. Mm -hmm. um, Cheryl's doing really good. I, I give her medical appointments and she's been fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not me, it's the drivers. It is the drivers, really yes, excellent. I know. I mean, they're awesome. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, we'll do our best to get you rides. I don't think we've missed a ride yet. Not yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> we don't have wood. <laughs> <laughs> so that is good. Yeah, and if so anyone out there is interested yes, in being a medical driver. Absolutely. Give us a call and we can get you quarried. Yes. And yep. set up to, you know, any information that you need for. Right. Doing the rides. And you are reimbursed for mileage. Yes. As well. You are reimbursed for mileage. And, and Boston right if they yes. have oh if, if you have to park and you have to pay for parking we reimburse that yes. as well just you save your you, you save yeah. your receipt and you don't have to go to boston but if you want if to. you can that's wonderful because we do have some people that go occasionally not yes. every week or every you know not even every month but and that's the thing about medical rides is you can be a little more picky choosy so meals on right. wheels which i'm still looking for meals on wheels drivers don't always. get me wrong We're always looking for always meals looking on wheels drivers. but with medical rides you can be a little more picky and choosy on right time of day location yeah and, you know yeah if you like to go to plymouth if you like to go to our Dartmouth, Fall right. River, Fall River, Taunton. Yeah. 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 All over. Yep. So that is exciting. Very yes. good. Yay. Yes. Yay. Uh, movie. Oh, movie time again. Yay. So we had a movie last month. It's that so was, fun having the movies. It back. is. It was funny. It was nice to see everyone. Yeah. We spaced everyone out nicely. Um, yeah. We do require signups for the movie. We had a lot of people. We up. had a lot of people, and we provide snacks like individual bags of popcorn. Mm -hmm. So we just need to know who he is. Who is here ahead of time? Right. Why have I been so tongue tied <laughs> today? I don't understand it. We've been talking a lot. That's so <laughs> August movie is The Bookshop. So it's Monday, August 16th at 10 a.m. Please right. note the time change because it was. Yes, I think it was 11, 11 last, month. last month. Yeah, yes. we're trying to just work it around different programs and things that we have going on, events, whatever. Right. So it's going to change yeah. periodically. Yes. The Bookshop is a 2017 drama written and directed by Isabel. How would you say that? Coit? Coit? Quiet. Um, I'm not really sure. Isabel. Thank you, Isabel. Yeah. With <laughs> difficult last name. Um, and it's based on a 1978 novel of the same name by Penelope Fitzgerald in a small East An Anglian town, Florence. Green decides against 
Florence polite, Green. <laughs> that's her name, Florence so, Green. Oh, Florence Green <laughs> decides <laughs> against polite but ruthless local opposition to open a bookshop. Yeah, oh. it looks pretty good. We watched the trailer. It looks really good. It does. It does yes. look good. Yes. Um, light refreshments will be served. Like I said, individual bags of popcorns, treats, and water. Due to limited seating and spacing, signups are a must. Um, and they will begin immediately. So yeah. the 1st of August, as soon as you get your newsletter. And, yeah, make sure you call early because we did have a wait list. For we the did last have a wait list, movie, yes. Believe it or not. Yep. So, I, we, you know, before COVID, right. I'm not sure that we had to worry about that. We did not have to worry sudden, about it. <laughs> everybody's going to the movies. <laughs> Who wouldn't come to the movies? Yeah. I would. It's nice. It's oh, nice to goodness. have everybody it here. It is. Absolutely. So, on to more fun stuff. August Volunteers of the Month are, drum roll please, um, <laughs> Jim and Lynn Ingram. This Yay. awesome twosome started delivering Meals on Wheels for us right during the heart of the pandemic. Their help during this time was Im immeasurable. immeasurable. <laughs> Thank you. She's having trouble. <laughs> Jim, the steadfast driver, and Lynn was the deliverer to those seniors in need. They have taken a short hiatus from Meals on Wheels, but we are also looking forward to their return. Lynn also started as our very enthusiastic quilting instructor here at the Senior Center back in 2018. Yep. The group has grown to such a size that they are now quilting at Homestead Quilting in yes. Lakeville, Mass., which is where they made this lovely quilt. Yes. Here they have all the room they need. The quilters make handmade gifts for our seniors' Christmas baskets and had finished and donated a quilt to be raffled at the COA. Lynn is a wealth of quilting knowledge. The yes, girls she is. love her. The girls yes. have a great time together. Yeah. We're hoping maybe in another year or two, maybe she'll come back to start a small group here again. Right. And then if it expands, wonderful. She thought maybe a beginner mm, quilters group. A beginner's group. group. Yeah. yeah, which would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. People learn from her. Yeah. yeah. So. We thank you, yes. Lynn and Jim. Yes. Hope everything's all right. We miss know, you. And can't we, wait to have you back. Yeah, we can. Can't wait to have you back. <laughs> all right. Oh, so this is my little pink sticky yes. note time. Okay. So we've got to talk about this. I'm going to read a little something yeah. from our Board of Health agent. Yeah. But numbers, we are not doing doom and gloom. We're no. not. But nope. numbers are of COVID are on the rise again. On the variant. On the variant, right? yes. Yeah. Yes, on the variant, the Delta variant. Yes. So I had reached out to Ed Board of Health. I was asking him some questions the other night. He's a wealth of information. Mm -hmm. So he gave me just a little snippet that he wanted me to read to everyone. Perfect. So that is what I'm going to do. So this is from Ed. Yes. Um, Infections happen, so when we're talking about this, it's the variant, it's the Delta variant we're mm -hmm. talking about. Infections happen in only a small portion of people who are fully vaccinated. So what he's saying is, even though you're vaccinated, you can still get it. Right. Even with the Delta variant, so either or. Mm -hmm. However, preliminary evidence suggests that fully vaccinated people who do become infected with the Delta variant can spread the virus to others. So, to reduce their risk of becoming infected with the Delta variant and potentially spreading to others, CDC recommends this to fully vaccinated people. The first thing is to wear a mask in public indoor settings or if they are in an area of substantial or high transmission. Mm -hmm. And they also, he also says, or the CDC also recommends, Fully vaccinated people might choose to mask regardless of the level of transmission, particularly, particularly if they or someone in their household is immune compromised or at increased risk for severe disease, mm -hmm. or if people in your household aren't vaccinated. Right. Or look at, that's what it just, the next or, line says, because I'm <laughs> look saying. Look you're one step ahead. Or Laura. if someone in their household is unvaccinated. Right. People who are at increased risk for severe disease include older adults and those who have certain medical conditions such as diabetes, overweight, or obesity, and heart conditions. He also right. suggests to get tested if experiencing COVID-like symptoms. Yes. So we just want you to be safe. Just be aware. And yes. if you feel sick, 
cover call up. Call your doctor. Call your doctor. Yeah. Don't come in That's here. That's the best thing. And people mm. that are not vaccinated, really seriously consider it. Consider Just because, it. Because, right. you know, we it's, don't. nobody knows what's going to happen now with this variant, what right. the outcome is going to be scary. with that. Yep. So we don't want anybody to get sick. Or, right. And we have known some seniors that have gotten it even after being vaccinated yeah much milder case yes much milder not right. hospitalized much right. milder and that's what i think they're saying right at most of these places like provincetown they had talked about the case numbers going up 400 people were infected but only three were hospitalized right. which and we don't know the number sign, but we right. don't know you know we, we still don't know don't the know. number of who was actually vaccinated and unvaccinated true, out of that so true. a lot of questions yes it's it's Everything's still new. scary and right. i would still honestly when i go into like cvs or someplace that's busy crowded or you know like doctor's office or cv like that kind of thing i wear a mask now i yeah. do yeah yeah and i still have my hand sanitizer and i'm still using that and right. we have it all around here we do ask here at the senior center if you're not feeling well to please stay home right call and cancel if you have an appointment with you know right yeah important Just, if yeah. you have symptoms don't go out don't, right. go, don't go to the senior out. center don't call go anywhere your doctor right yeah call absolutely your doctor until you get checked out and make sure it's just a cold or allergies yep. or whatever yeah and so yeah. if you feel safer and feel better wearing a mask yeah cdc is yeah. recommending it yeah and it's not like anybody would look down on anyone that no. would do that because nope. you're only protecting not only are you protecting yourself but you're protecting everyone right. around you right so and those unvaccinated wear a mask get vaccinated yes if you can't for some reason because there are people medically cannot get vaccinated right wear a mask protect yourselves right that's all that's we all don't want anyone getting sick that's, and that's all. all we're saying that's all for now <laughs> but no. All right. All so right, back to the good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> farmers market coupons. Farmers market coupons are mm -hmm. here. Um, this year's farmer market coupons are in. There is a limited supply, and we will distribute them on a first come, first serve basis upon qualifying. So it's not just because you call that you get them. You have to qualify. Yes. And to qualify, you must be 60 years old or older or disabled. You must qualify by the income guidelines provided. You may call or come in to inquire about the income guidelines. We didn't put them on this form, but you can call us or, like mm -hmm. we said, come in and you can see the guidelines. Right. You need to present a license or a valid state ID, and you must have your ID with you when picking up the coupons. In the past, they've been a little bit lax about this, but now they're requiring that you have an ID. Right. Um, for this, you have to be from Lakeville. This is for Lakeville residents mm -hmm. only. You will receive $25 worth of Mass Farmers Market coupons. You'll get an informational sheet and a list of all the South Shore Farmers Markets, farm stands, and mobile markets as well. Mm -hmm. So please stop, stop by the COA to see if you qualify, fill out forms, and pick up your coupons. Again, this is a first come, first serve basis. It's and not call on the phone and we right. sign you up. Uh, unfortunately, you must qualify. You must qualify. You have to come in and that's just the way the state's doing it this year. And they it's gave a limited us, amount. Of it's coupons. a limited amount. They gave us really strict guidelines. Right. So right. first yeah. come, first serve. Which makes sense. Yes. Yes. Yep. But they're here, so that's good. Right. Um, next thing we have is the brown bag pickup update. Um, you must qualify for that as well. Um, I think people were a little confused when we first put the brown bag and the drive-by lunch box pickup. Thought that that was the same thing, but it's not. This is a food pantry bag um, from the Boston Food Bank. And the next one, starting in August, where what do we have? We'll the be date? picking up inside the COA. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, the next one August will be 25th. August 25th. <laughs> oh my God, August I'm like, 25th blah, blah, blah. and then September 22nd. Yes. That is once a month. It's usually the fourth. Yes, the fourth Wednesday. Fourth Wednesday. You got it. Okay. Fourth Wednesday of the month. Okay. Except for if. Uh, if holidays. It's a holiday. Yeah, okay. we change it. Well, they change it around the okay. holidays. Yep. Yeah. So just know that you just must qualify for that, and once you're approved, you will automatically be on the list every month, unless you decide you don't need it yes. or want it anymore. You need to let you us let know. us know. Yep. We'll take your name off the list. Yep. Right. Um, so again, I'm stressing because I know oh, a lot of people get too. confused. Um, once you're approved, 
every month you're on. You don't have to worry about it. You're on every month. Right. I've been doing an all call to remind people. Um, if you can't pick it up or you're going to be late, call us, let us know. Right. Oh, the time change. That's right. Yes, there will now be... You. Oh, and they'll be able to come in. Inside. It is You'll inside. They'll be able to come in to yes. pick up now. Yes. Or no more curbside pickup. No pick more curbside. <laughs> no more beeping at us, although yeah. it, it was fun at the beginning. <laughs> we want to see your faces walking on in here now. So this And we month, have so much going on inside. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's, Sorry. So when you walk in, it's... Probably not going to be in that room like it was before. We're going to set like it. Did, yeah, yeah, we're going to set it right up here. We'll have two volunteers here to check your name off, get yeah. your things to you. But yeah, we're going to be kind of strict with that. So this month, when I sent the message out, you could do either or. You could either come in or beep. Right. But next month is definitely come in. So if you cannot, you need to have your person that you've designated as your pickup person come in and get it for you. And the time will be from 10 a.m. till 12 noon. Yes, 10 to 12. Not 1 o'clock. Not 1 o'clock any longer. Yeah, because we can't keep it open all day. Right, because we're yeah. just trying to we're trying to fit more things right. in. And, right, because we, yeah. we're using this big room for activities right. as well. So right. we don't want people bumping in and out while something's going on. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's good. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> And also, we brought our blood pressure clinics back. Yay. So Carol, our nurse, is here um, every other Monday from 1130 to 1230 by appointment only. So you need to call us to schedule an appointment. And um, yes, and the Lakeville Fire Department will be here twice a month as well. Yes. On, so during our cafe hours. Yes, but it's every other friday in the right. newsletter it says every friday right so yeah. now it's every every it's other every other friday yes from nine to ten for walk-in blood pressure checks you don't need to sign up for those correct so just check the calendar for the dates and i think what's this month is oh, we, oh but we put we it in put for every in. but hold on hold on did we no we didn't so they were not in that ones oh Oh, we did. Okay, so we'll have to get the dates. Yes, I have the dates. They're on the door over here. Oh, that's Can I true. run and go look? Sure. You don't mind, do you? Not at all. Uh, <laughs> no, so we will do that again. The fire department will be Sorry. here. Not every Friday morning. So that was a little error in our newsletter. So not every Friday morning. They're going to be here every other Friday morning from 9 to 10. Walk-in appointments. Oh, walk in only, not appointment, not by appointment. Okay. So, I'm Lori has the dates. I'm like, so be here. So it's going to be the 13th. Yep. And the 27th. Perfect. All right. So August 13th, 13th and, and the 27th. Unless for some uh, odd reason they are called away for an emergency. We need to let them go for emergencies. <laughs> <laughs> we have to let them go. Yes, we do. You want them to go uh, <laughs> for yes, the emergency. Yes, absolutely. So what again? The dates were the 13th. 13th? 27 and the 27th yes yeah we'll figure it out absolutely nine to ten there you go that will be during our cafe hours yep okay <sighs> then what else do we have we have outreach services yes we have our lovely lucille who's here two days a week um mondays and tuesdays from nine to two to provide outreach services and assist seniors and their families she provides them with information and referrals to programs and services and or assist in completing applications. Some services available for referrals are fuel assistance, food bank, SNAP, caregiver services, housing, and others. So call us at 508-947-7224 if you would like to speak to our outreach counselor, Lucille. Lucille. Yeah. Yay, Lucille. Who's a wealth of knowledge as Wealth well. of knowledge. And yes. we're going to say it again. She retired from Old Colony Elder Services. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So She's she a wealth knows it of all. knowledge. Yeah. She knows it all. Yep. She's amazing. All right. So I know last month we introduced our um, exercise instructors, and I know most of you have met them. Mm -hmm. And I know it's in our newsletter in August again. I'm just going to go over it real quickly. Yep. Mary Beth, welcome back to Healthy yeah. Hearts. We missed her. Everyone yep. missed her. Yay, Yay, Mary Beth. Everybody's up and moving. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it, she's doing Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Low impact, high energy aerobics modified for those who need it. Yes. And then we have Mike. Welcome back, Mike. Welcome back, Mike. Mike's group is growing he was here too. Today. He was here today. We yep. just saw him. Yep. He is Tai Chi on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Tai Chi is an art of embracing the mind, body, and spirit. Spirit. 
spare it, spare it. <laughs> and I think we could all use a little bit of this. And I think I have people are class. not sure as to what Tai Chi is all about, but I think it's more stretching yes. than strengthening. Yeah, you're not getting in odd positions. Right. It really is. It's like calm. It's right. peace. Like, yeah. They're always very, very relaxed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it is good. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've added to our lineup yoga, stretch, and strengthen with Amy on Thursdays. This is Another a popular mix. Another class. Yep. Yeah. It's a mix of yoga, stretch, and strengthening. Mm -hmm. and, and this can be modified. So if she's doing something on the floor and you cannot get on the floor and you want to sit in the seat, she'll modify whatever she's doing and show you how to do it sitting in the seat and it's not like embarrassing we have no. seats out for oh everyone gosh. yeah everyone has so seats if everyone you want has... the seats there right if you don't you don't fine yep yeah and again um yeah they're both very popular classes yeah. read your newsletter thoroughly so we can get you guys signed up for their classes right yep 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 um ooh, this is my favorite this one is that's exciting <laughs> this is exciting news <laughs> This is so funny that this is what we get excited about. <laughs> Should we tell them the free table and and the clothes rack? They're back. back. All right, but I'm gonna read this because this is super important. Okay. Yes. First and foremost, yes. we ask that you please call the COA before bringing anything in. Do yes. not leave it outside. Yes, please. And please call us first because if we're in the middle of something big and you you bringing stuff in, that would just be no bueno. Right. 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 Um, and we also ask that the clothes be in good, clean condition. Mm -hmm. We are not in the in the area of washing. No. And we don't have, laundering we don't the have clothes a washing machine and then there. putting them back out. No. So make sure they're in good, clean condition. I was thinking of the word. Also, right. please no open or half used items on the free table. Mm, no. Packages have to be closed, has to be new. We can't yeah. have things half used. Right. Um, we know this past year has given us all time to clean out our houses. <laughs> I don't know if I had that much time uh, to clean out my house. At the but. beginning, <laughs> no, we might have a little bit, yeah. I might. But we do not want to overwhelm us all at once. We only have space for a small amount at a time. So please thank you for your patience yes. and understanding. Call us first. Yes. We, we do can't not have want five people coming in with six bags. Yes. <laughs> I would even like, you know, I would even say if you want to bring in like 10 items of clothing yes, at a time. Yes, that would be good. Instead Start of bags. Slow. Start us slow. Right. Start yeah. slow. You know when you can bring bags is when we do the coat drive and then you can bring bags of coats. Right. All the coats you want. Right. But for now. Right. Yeah. Keep it to Call us We first. only have that one rack. I yeah. know the people yep. that come here all the time know what rack we're talking about. Yes. It's not that big. But everyone so. loves like sharing and. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But we'll do it slowly. Yeah. And we'll all get done. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. We'll get it. Let's see. Perfect. Over here. Oh, the Gatra van. Okay. So, Middleboro Daycare Program has reopened. So, Gatra. Regular rides will be a little different. It's now Monday through Friday. So mm -hmm. they're open in Middleborough Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. Our regular ride pickup will now start at 930. So mm -hmm. the daycare folks that picked up earlier in the morning will be ready for regular riders by 930. So we can pick you up at 930. Mm -hmm. So please try to schedule any of your appointments for after that. So say we're picking right. you up at 930. If you're close to your doctor or where you need to be, we can get you there 9 45, 10 o'clock. Yep. That type of thing. Yep. Um, the van also picks up in Middleborough at 2 45. So the afternoon ride scheduling is determined on that pickup. So depending yes. on what you have to do, we might have to rearrange you. We might have to fit you in a different day. We've been pretty successful. Yeah, we'll do our best yeah. to yep. We've get been as many people good at it. In, in a day that we can. Yes. So the van now has no rider limits. But masks are mandatory on the van. No ifs, ands, and buts yes. about it. Your mask is a safety precaution, just like wearing your seatbelt is. Especially and, now with the variant. Oh, yes, yes. You, you need to do it. Yep. So it's masks good. and seatbelts keep you safe. Wear yes. them. Yes. Wear them. Absolutely. Um, please call the COA with any ride questions. And remember, this is going to be an ever-changing learning curve for all of us. So be patient as we navigate the changes. Be yeah. patient with us, please. I know, and sometimes the changes are daily, but we're we're trying our best. I know, right? we are. Yeah. No, we're making it work. Yeah, we are. I think it's working out well. Yes. 
Um, and we also still have our fun lawn games. We know it's been hot it's been and hot. rainy, and yeah. nobody wants to go outside and play games. Right. But we're hoping August will be different. You know, maybe we'll get a little bit drier, more sun. So hopefully. Less humid. Yeah, less humid. Oh, my goodness. So hopefully, you know, if you want to, come in and sign up. Do they really? I guess they I don't they think don't they really need, need to sign, sign up. up. Even just if you wanted us, to just walk in. Just give us a I call ahead of time yeah. so we can have the games out for you. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Um, and we have the tic-tac-toe and checkers cloth mats. And we have the giant stand-up connect four. Under which the, is this displaying <laughs> our lovely. Our, which is now our quilt rack. Yes, quilt rack <laughs> slash connect four. Just for now. But, and also the giant, um, well, big dominoes and the yardsy, yep, yardsy. bowling, croquet, bocce, and cornhole. Cornhole, cornhole game. Yeah. And so we've seen you, some of these folks playing yes, these games. at the so. cafes. So hopefully we'll have some right. cafes outdoors too come August. Yeah. Maybe if the humidity gets a little bit better. And Right. And just remember, you can always come and enjoy the outside. So if you yeah. want if you want to get two couples together, say there's four of you, yeah. you want to come in, we'll set the cornhole up for you. You can have your little lunch under the tent if you'd like. Even during cafe. Home. I know. Even if you come in, yeah. if we have it inside for some reason, right? and you want to take your coffee and your and go snack outside, outside yes. absolutely. feel free. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. So we're almost through, but yeah. we're going to do this little ditty first. Okay. Beat the heat. Eight summer safety tips for seniors. All right, so cookouts, festivals, gardening, parades, summer is a wonderful time for outdoor fun and enjoyment. But for seniors, the heat and sun that come with the season can be dangerous mm -hmm. if certain precautions aren't taken. In fact, a recent University of Chicago Medical Center study found that 40% of heat-related fatalities in the U.S. were among people over 65. Yeah. Over, yeah. That's yeah. Just... Be careful. You know, know your limits. Yeah, you know, See? if you're out gardening or whatever, right? Don't be feisty. No, you're, you're out limits. gardening, girls. <laughs> yes, girls. <laughs> if you're out gardening, stay cool, right? Yes. All right. So All right, go ahead. You can read the. Here first we go. One. Keep hydrated. Yes. Seniors are more prone to dehydration because they aren't able to conserve as much water as they could when they were younger, and their sense oh. of thirst becomes less acute as they age. Wow. Even I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay. Seniors should drink at least eight glasses of water or sports drinks daily to avoid alcohol and caffeine drinks, which are dehydrating. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. <laughs> it is a lot of water. But, but if you're sweating, right. you're sweating yep. it out. Yep. So another thing, stay cool. Speaking of sweating, stay, stay cool. cool. High temperatures can be life-threatening, especially for seniors. If your loved one's home, I'm sorry, if your loved one's home isn't air-conditioned, Encourage them to visit a friend or relative's home during high temperatures. Senior centers. We are now a cooling, cooling station. Center. Um, shopping malls, movie theaters, and libraries are also good options to stay cool. Find some cool. I know. Yes. And hopefully everyone has air conditioning or at least some fans in their home that get the air right. circulating. But. And if you're having a hard time with that, call us and we'll see if we can find help. Yeah, I we'll mean, see what we can do. Right. We never... We never say no. We say, we'll try. Yeah. We'll see if we can. Yeah. We do our best to right. help. We do. Yeah. It's fun. Yes. Um, dress appropriately. A senior summer wardrobe should, wardrobe should be full of light-colored, loose-fitting clothing. Choose cotton and other natural fabrics that are more lightweight and breathable than synthetic fabrics, like fabrics like nylon and polyester. Wearing a wide-brimmed hat that will keep the sun off your face and neck. Good points. Yep. Good points. And sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen. Apply sunscreen of SPF 30 or higher at least 15 to 30 minutes before you go out in the sun. Right. Before. Um, look for a sunscreen that blocks both the UVA and UVB rays. Apl reapply frequently if engaging in water activities because it does rinse off yes, after a does. while. And even if you're just sweating. Oh, yeah. Even the sweat. Reapply. You take it just off. Reapply. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, preserve your vision. Sun exposure can irritate seniors' eyes and cause vision damage. Sunglasses should be worn when exposed to the sun. 
Boom. Yeah. Straightforward. Yep. Sunglasses. Avoid sun during peak hours. Plan outdoor exercise and or activities either first thing in the morning before 10 a.m. or later in the evening after 4 p.m. when the sun isn't as hot. Remember to hydrate even more than usual when exercising. Yep. 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 And I know all the instructors take a little break. Right. Water they, is key for everything, yeah, I think. it is. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we should um, post this on Facebook yes. and on our website. Yes. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yes. All right. Um, watch for heat stroke. Heat stroke is a life-threatening condition. Look for heat stroke symptoms, which include high body temperature, dizziness, headache, confusion, and nausea. Seek immediate medical attention if these signs are present. Okay. So if you feel in any of these... Phone a friend, phone a family member, mm -hmm. phone us, phone somebody, and you should get to a doctor. Yes. Or at least it's, if it's severe, 911. 911, yeah. Always. If it's that bad, yes. yes. Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah. I, I shouldn't have said. And make sure you use your bug spray. The elderly are more susceptible to West Nile virus. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. So be sure to protect yourself with bug spray, especially at night when we have those mosquitoes coming out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Just, yeah. All right. And says, by following just a few common sense precautions, you and your senior loved one are sure to have a safe and enjoyable summer. Yes. Yay. Yeah, we'll post that so you guys can read all Well, they have it in the newsletter, too. Yes, they have we'll it in the newsletter, but we can still post it. Yeah. Sure. Just as a reminder. Yep. Absolutely. absolutely. Oh, yes. I did it again. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, goodness. Oh, and how are we ending? We're ending Happy with... Happy birth. Oh, we can't Happy sing. Happy... Oh, we can't. We can't. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Grim's laughing. It's the town hall birthday list. Town hall birthday list. And let me tell you, August is full. And yeah. this month, we won't say dates. It's a big baby month. We'll just let you know. Yes. We'll yes. let you... So what is nine months previous to August? <laughs> November. Okay, let's not go there. Just saying. Anyway, let's list them off. Who okay, go they? ahead. First one, Tracy Craig McGee. Tracy, happy birthday, over Tracy. in the selectman's office. Yes. Happy birthday. Miss Jessie Berry. Happy birthday, Jessie. Over Jessie. at town clerk's office. Todd Hassett. Todd. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. If I had a trumpet, I'd blow a trumpet. He, and what office is he in? He's in a band, and I can't remember what he plays. Oh. Um, <laughs> accounting. He is town accounting. accountant. Yes. Okay. Um, Sean Joyce. Happy birthday, Sean. Over at the PD. I hope they remember it's your birthday. <laughs> I can't say when, but if they want to call, I'll tell them. Okay. All right. Norman Taylor. Over, Happy birthday, Norman. Over at the Assessors. Happy birthday. Janice Swanson. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Janice. Janice. And she's retiring. Oh. She's retiring. Are we supposed happy, to know that? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. No, that's okay. okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, happy yeah, birthday. Happy birthday. And one last but not least. Whoop, whoop. Our, our very own, own Chris, Chris Chasse. Chasse. Is that how you say it? Chasse. I never knew how to say it. I think it's Chasse. <laughs> Chasse. Chasse. Happy birthday, yeah, Chris. Yeah, so that's it for um, our birthdays yeah. and our fun stuff. Yes. And, yeah. and next month? Next month. What are we gonna be doing next month? What are we doing next month? What are we doing? Oh, what are we doing Saturday? I just want to tell everyone <laughs> that Cheryl and Barry are getting <laughs> married on Saturday. Oh my God! I've been dying to do this all day. Can I grab a flower. <laughs> go Barry. Go Cheryl. So, anyways, I just want to wish Cheryl and Barry an awesome wedding day i cannot wait it Me is going to be so much fun are you excited yes and right. she's off so as soon as we say cut <laughs> she's gone like she's got cool. the next two days off and then yes. she's going on her honeymoon yeah you better have a good time oh we're gonna have a blast Look, i cannot Saint wait barry cheryl there we are there they are they're so handsome they're the most cutest couple <laughs> so anyways we wish them both a fun happy Thank you. Successful marriage. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. <laughs> no. All right, so that's how I wanted to end the show. <laughs> okay. Saturday, Cheryl, woohoo! Pray for good weather day, Yay. everyone, please. 
But honestly, call us if you need anything. We're always here. Yes. Right? Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks Bye. for joining us. Bye. Thanks for watching.